So in your lifetime, you've probably fallen in love a time or two. That the Lord puts you on a path to meet someone who is a personal best for you. And when you meet that personal best because you've made a prayer to God after having a few that were not as good as maybe what others would consider the best or what you discovered was not the best for you, God might deliver that person right to you. That happened to me thrice in my lifetime and I'm valuable because of that or I should say I value that. The challenge of course is whether or not you can convince that person that you are the best person for them. And sometimes you work again and again for 10,000 or more tweets or 2,000 or more love notes and it still never works because other people are intervening, other people are impeding, other people are soliciting, other people are sadly winning. And the people that win aren't always the best for that person. And God might be shouting at them to get out of the situation, but sometimes people are impacted by technology, by tools, by transportation issues, by finances, and they are afraid to make new what they need to rediscover in you. In America, we have rights to find the love of our life. And once you find the love of your life, your biggest question is, what does that person do for you? Because sometimes your friends and family will look at you and go, really, that's the best you can do? But oftentimes we allow our love of someone our inappropriate view of someone interfere with the love lines that God had planned for your lifetime. I have a couple siblings that did that. They chose poorly. And when they chose poorly, it impacted the entire family. They chose a bad boy who never grows up. And openly that impacts the family to the point that I am disgusted most of the time. And I'm sad for the children of that man. Now, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And when we speak the truth about our opinion and our experience of someone, it is a perspective. But if that person is always negative, always harming, always alarming, always rude, always insensitive, always scheming, then maybe they're not right for a family at all. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't appropriate. And when I'm channeling, I'm channeling. When I'm working, I'm working. When I'm scripting, I'm scripting. And when I'm serving, I'm serving. But the most important aspect of any human being's life is how you serve. Who do you serve? And what do you learn along the path of working? 